So in the beginning, uh, ash related issues, uh, what's this? Is the processes occurring in the boiler and we can distinguish, in fact, uh, the three main processes. It is slugging, folding and agglomeration. In fact, uh, uh, the agglomeration uh, involves only in uh, uh, fluidized bed uh, bo boilers, but the rest of the processes slugging and falling also uh, uh, can be uh, created in, in, the, in the, uh, uh, another type of boilers, uh, including pulverized and, and great boilers. As a consequence, these uh, processes uh, we can observe undesired uh, uh, corrosion, deposition and unstable uh, operation of the furnace of the boiler. Well, uh, what? but in the beginning, if, we, uh, if we're talking about the ash-related issues, first we have to, uh, we have to understand uh, when and where ash is created in the, in the boiler, in the furnace, during combustion of solid fuels, because uh, according to our intuition, it's, it seems to be very simple. Uh, if we consider uh, combustion of the portion of, of biomass, even coal, even uh, whatever uh, solid fuels, according to our intuition, we think that in the first stage, we can release uh, the gaseous products like uh, carbon dioxide, water vapor, NOx, SOx, and so far and so on. Of course, we release the heat, but it is the main product, the, the beneficial pro product of the combustion. And finally, we obtain the ash. So this scheme uh, looks very, very, very easy, very simple. Uh, however, uh, in the reality, uh, this process is not uh, such simple as I previously uh, present. Because uh, you already know from the previous web web webinar, so let me remind uh, only this uh, slide that if we consider combustion of so solid fuels, so first step is uh, heating and drying of, of the fuel portion. Uh, second is, is, a really, is a volatile matter uh, release. Uh, next is ignition and the uh, combustion on, of volatiles. Next is a char combustion. And finally, we obtain the ash. However, uh, ash can be created in the whole process of the com combustion, uh, especially during the volatile release, ignition and com combustion, uh, these compounds like uh, uh, sodium, potassium, calcium can be released as a gaseous phase. Uh, next, they can condensate and uh, they can, uh, and at the submicron particles and agglomerated ash uh, were cre created uh, during this uh, process. Also, the ash can be uh, uh, converted as a uh, heterogeneous condensation. That means that this, uh, this uh, gaseous phase or even uh, aerosols uh, liquid phase uh, can be condensated on the surfaces of ash or uh, uh, surfaces of uh, boiler wall. And finally, uh, the ash can be created from the char fragmentation and burn out. Uh, however, as you can see, this process is much is 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 more complicated com comparing to our intuition. 